Well, in this video, we're going to show you this gnarly piece of spode china. It's a teacup and saucer. This marks the very transition from spode producing tea bowls and saucers through to the more English teacup with a handle and a saucer, but without a well for the actual teacup. Let's just show you over this. Absolutely beautifully decorated and quite heavily decorated when you see they haven't left a square inch of white porcelain undecorated. Nice early spode transfer stamp on the back with this stylized A. Clean base rim, nice side elevation and the decoration with this twin gilt rims around the outer aspect very very nice indeed. Moth design with the hatching and fist scaling around the outside. And the design, all the elements of twin temples, temples or brosley design on here from the period in this beautiful pastel blue. Let's just move on to the teacup. Matching spode. Stamp marks with the A. Arch peak handle. Indented base, almost on a Plinth this one, lovely base plate again, very clean. Two temples design around the outside. Bridge with the two characters. No swallow or anything on this, which makes it brossly as opposed to willow pattern. And again, some nice gilt detailing just across the handle. There is some antique wear around the rim, as you would expect. This is dating from anywhere between the very earliest 1790 and around 1812. Beautiful condition considering its age. A very rare piece of porcelain china. Very nicely decorated in beautiful condition. Absolute one for the collectors here. A very nice example of some early spode blue and white. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, if it's given you some indications about this, please hit the like button. Really appreciate your comments as well. And if you can follow the channel, we're trying to build up our following to get this as a pattern reference, a video library, if you like, uh, optimised so that people can find reference material and compare what they've got in their collections. Thanks for watching.